Hey y'all, it is uh, January 26, 2023, and uh, I'm off work for a few days. I had surgery on this right eye here two days ago, uh, cataract surgery. So, not supposed to be lifting nothing, bend over a whole lot and all that good stuff, so we're just taking it easy. But, I'm out here in the green, and it is 51 degrees outside here in northeast Texas. And in my greenhouse, it looks like it's getting on around 80 degrees right at it. Uh, it warms up pretty good in here during the day. That's not my heater doing that. That's just the sunshine and I'm keeping the door closed. Um, so back in November, November 26, 2022, I put dogwood seeds in the refrigerator uh, for cold stratification I cleaned all the pulp off of them rinsed off the seeds put them in this baggie of uh, barely damp soil and you can see they are wanting to grow they were still in the refrigerator doing this so today we're going to get them I counted 405 it might be plus or minus there about 405 whenever I put them in the baggie not all of them are going to germinate and some of them may germinate late I don't see enough roots to say that all of them are doing anything but yeah we got enough that we're going to get started and uh, I'm going to put them in this bucket there's going to be a community uh, bucket for all the seeds to go in here I'm not filling this big old nursery pot. It's a pretty good size. I'm not filling it all the way up. I'm just going to put, you know, a few inches of soil in there. We've got some scrapings out of the chicken pen uh, where we throw in uh, leaves and pine straw and stuff every year. And then when they got it all, when you can't tell what it is, we scrape it all out and replace it. Uh, so that's some really rich stuff there. I'm going to put that in the bottom, some of that. And then we've got some uh, old potting soil out of uh, some old pots and stuff that, that were no longer being used. And we're going to put that in there. And we're going to see how this goes. I'll sprinkle the, uh, the seeds over the top of it and then just barely, barely cover them. I'm not even going to water them in today, really. And uh, give them uh, a few days to adjust and then start barely watering them in. I don't want to drown them so anyways uh, I can't do this all with one hand so I'm gonna pause this video and I'll show y'all when I get to the next step okay so I put this pot up on this table because I don't really need to be bending over a lot like I said a while ago uh, and I'll have to have someone help me get it off the table but uh, I put probably between four and five inches of uh, that composted chicken uh chicken pen soil whatever you want to call it it's not just manure it's it's pretty rich but it's still got a lot of sand and dirt in it and compost and uh then i put probably another inch inch and a half of this uh old potting soil over that it, where a plant had died in this pot and uh spread that out next i want to put the the seeds right on top right and kind of see my spacing and i'll show y'all after I get done with that, how we've how that looks. Okay, so I'm not sure. Uh, some of these might not have been too viable, and some of them, they're probably just not going to do anything, or some of them just haven't started. You see, this one here is just starting to open up. We've got one here that hasn't done anything. And since we have over 400 in this pile, there's a lot of them that haven't done anything yet. Then we have the track stars that are really trying to get ahead of everybody else. So all we're going to do with these is lay them in here. I don't want to try to force the roots down or anything they will find their way and we'll just plant them around and I'll 
the seeds that haven't done anything yet, I'll just put them in there too, and uh, we'll see how they go. Give me a few minutes, and I'll be back. Okay, so I've already went ahead and I spread them out in here. Those with a longer root, I did go ahead and kind of make a divot with my finger and kind of stand them up because they want to, with the weight of the seed still being on, they want to flip over the root pointing up. So those with a longer root, I did do that. And uh, shorter rooted ones, the ones that hadn't really done much germinating yet, I just, I just spread them all in here. And I put probably a quarter inch or so of loose soil, potting soil on top of that. And I just kind of, not real hard, just kind of went around and and uh, did this trick. Just kind of pat so that everything has good contact with the soil. And that's how they're going to stay. In a few days, I'll come in and uh, spritz them down with some water. You don't want to really just like pour the, like water on there. You'll, you'll uh, upset them. Probably, uh, you know, you can move them from where they're at and, and disturb the, the root system that... Especially those with the long taproot already started, they should start putting out uh, feeder roots pretty soon. And you don't want to mess them around. So i uh, probably use uh, something like that right there, which that's my orchid fertilizer bottle. But uh, a spray bottle like that, you can use a pump-up sprayer and uh, put it on heavy, you know, a spray but not a stream. And just kind of wet it down a little bit every now and then. And... Uh, once they all start coming up and putting on leaves and you can you can water them heavier so we'll see how that goes again today's the 26th of january and i can't wait to see how many dogwoods we have coming up last year i lost some uh the ones i had going on a lot of them to uh dogs getting in here and uh decided the pots that my dogwood trees were in six to eight inch tall some of them taller little dogwood trees uh they decided they were chew toys so that's kind of aggravating but it is what it is and uh we'll see what we get going on this year hope y'all enjoyed that and uh god bless